Hello everybody and welcome back to the finals match of the WCSL. We are actually recording it instead this time around. Conix and I went and sat down and said, okay, we're gonna record this. Nex was uh, ready to take the two videos and cut them together. Whew, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also excited. This is gonna be cool. It's so weird not having music. Oh, because I don't have music. Um, you guys will definitely have music. But I'm picking Marnie for luck because that's my favorite theme. All right, here we go. Good luck at Funt, my opponent. And I'm getting my revenge for week one. That's exactly the six that I expected. Compared to week one, it's basically the same. The only difference being that Mr. Mime that they brought. So I've got two options. I either lead Excadrill, Rotom, or Klefki, Milotic. I think Excadrill, Rotom is safer. With I'm going to bring Milotic in the back to have something to answer the Flygon. And then in the back, do I want Gigalith or do I want... Mr. Mime. No, I think Gigalith in the back is good. Hopefully that doesn't make me too weak to um, Flygon. I think I'm gonna go with this. I believe in Flygon supremacy, especially because I didn't bring Solomons. So that means that I have to win, right? Oh, damn, that is the lead that I was worried about with this lead. Okay. I actually low-key good lead for me. I think it's just going to fake out Excadrill. I could do this, switch to this. Now, assuming that is faking out Excadrill, because it's the bigger of the two threats, then I don't really need Chip on the Flygon, so I guess I'll just go for Thunderbolt here, just to get Chip on this. I don't feel pressure too much, so I'm just going to keep away from Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is going to punish a Protect. Oh, they switched to Excadrill, okay. Sassy Amogus. Amogus! Oh my god. Scary. Ah, it dodges. Interesting. We get the burn. That's huge. And DD on the fly on. I guess it's physical. Okay. That does okay, more than half. Um, what's the threat to my Lotic here? Like literally nothing. What physical moves does Flygon get? It's gonna have Dragon Claw, maybe? It's probably Helping Hand and then attack Milotic, I would assume. Does that kill? It can kill my Milotic. So, I can ally switch here, actually. I think I'm going to Slush Bomb and Protect here. I mainly want to preserve Flygon for the moment. Damn it, whatever. I've revealed ally switch to them. There's the ally switch, alright. So I'm gonna Thunderbolt and ally switch. You probably Citrus Berry. Mm hmm. And Ice Beam, correct. Okay. So I'm going to switch in Gigalith here. So that way, if my Lotic does go down, I can get Excadrill in next turn. I think I'm gonna preserve. On. I definitely want to preserve Flygon here. It's really unfortunate, but we... Um, okay, first up, let's see. Do we get the Levitate? If we trace the Levitate, we win. Ah, but Marvuske is good to know. So it's Trace P2. So they did learn from the uh, download week one, because I EV'd all of my Pokemon to give it an attack boost. So that's kind of what I expected. Although... Getting, like, Sandstream would not be the best if they're trying to set up, um, their rain like they did week one. Please don't burn Gigalith. Okay, whatever. Burn on the Gigalith! We are insane. Two out of three targets that I hit. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's karma. That's instant karma. <laughs> Oh, we got a freeze. <laughs> well, that's the uh, basically equivalent. And uh, they did uh, say that they were gonna freeze me with Porygon in the general chat. Uh, that's so. What do I do now? How do I capitalize off of this maximally? I can rock slide. I'll just rock slide Scald the Porygon too. Scald does not thaw them. It would thaw me if I was frozen, but it won't thaw them. But if I do this, um, covers for a switch. Mm, do I Ice Beam? No, I think I'll Scald in case it's a Metagross. <laughs> Just then Gigalith. I think the burn is actually 
much worse than... Wait, they just unfall me. Why? Okay, um, I did not want to switch an Excadrill here because I want the Slazzle down before Excadrill goes in. Okay, there's the th Thaw, and it does have Thunderbolt. It did not have Thunderbolt with one, but it does lose time. I know I'm faster than that, though. Okay, well, I got my Marvel Scale. <laughs> oh my god. We really got blessed today. If I wasn't paralyzed, um, then I could recover before this Porygon 2 moves. Porygon 2 is faster than me from Stand from Chip. That's a shame. Okay. Now I think I double the Flygon. They see no real threat to the Flygon, but I literally just need a little bit of Chip to let Excadrill KO it with Iron Head. Flygons are putting in work just because uh, it means they bring Milotic. Milotic is actually scary. I need to watch out how I play around it. I think they definitely attack Milotic, but in case they don't, I think a recover is good. Okay, the reco that was a good recover then. As long as I don't get paralyzed here. Unless with the paralyzed, I'm faster than Milotic. That's good to know. So I have a free turn here. Oh, the recover! Oh no! Alright, 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 alright. Throat shop into Flygon, okay. So they were predicting a Primarina switch, potentially, or just that that is their best move. Interesting that they have dark move. So they also prepare for Deku Dai, huh? So now I'm going to double the Flygon, I think, since it's protected last turn. I'm going to Throat Chop it for Chip, um, and then if they double into my Milotic... Milotic's actually never dead here. But yeah, those those status conditions are way too strong right now here. Like, this gives me too much of an advantage. <laughs> oh, my. I think it's still fine, though. It could switch to Metagross or Primarina, but if it's Primarina, it's getting Throat Chop, and if it's Metagross, it's taking a Throat Chop from... I get I'll I burn Gigalith, but that's not the worst. It is Primarina, okay. So it's getting throat trapped. It cannot use um it cannot use water moves this turn. Now let's see. Thunderbolt should do half again quickly, right? Yeah, a bit less. They ice beam, so that means I do get a KO here next turn. There's a throat chop. I assume this is probably just Thunderbolt on Metagross. Or Thunderbolt Melodic and then Scald Metagross, or Scald Gigalith, my bad. I cannot use Hyper Voice, but I can use Moonblast here, which is really good. It's a strong double up into the Flygon there. Um, I do have Flygon still in the back, right? So that alone should enable me to win, especially since I will get a Baby Doll Ice half. Exodol can live a Scald, which is important, but it's not guaranteed. I was very conservative with Exodol week one, so I'm going to try to take the risk here. Don't scald that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. This at least breaks the Sash if there is one in play. Um... Yo, the special attack rep, let's go! The Steel Beam Excadrill won't do damage to me. <laughs> so I'll Baby Doll Ice here. And I think I'll Ice Beam here. I'm afraid of Choice Band's superpower, but I think after the Baby Doll Ice, I should live. This Iron Head does 75% to 90%. I think that's a roll that I'm comfortable hitting. So I could switch in... Am I throwing if I switch in Rotom? I think that's just fine. They withdraw Gigalith. Oh, they still have Rotom! That's interesting. That did like nothing. That's got to have some physical defense on it. Okay, now I feel like that Primarin is going to protect here, right? I am free to just icy wind here, I think. Also, wind should kill Roto. Let's get Milotic in. Milotic's not in any danger here. I can recover up. But it does stay in. All right. This is okay. We're in a better position so far. It's, I think it's definitely protecting Primarina. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That was just to cover... Although I guess it didn't really cover for a flag on switch. 
Let's see if this is Ice Beam. Icy Wind. Oh, if only I was competitive. Well, I guess my opponent knows I'm not competitive because it's on Marvel scale. Phantom does go down. Um, who comes in here? Is it Gigalith? Gigalith Protect Recover, is that what I do? Or do I go Excadrill and then just Poison Jab? I think I'll go Excadrill. I think I'm still gonna Baby the Lice here and just Thunderbolt into the Melodic. I think this is like free win because of that. I think this is safe. I think Poison Jab the Pre Marina to kill it and then Ice Beam if it switches to, to Flygon. I think that covers everything. Okay. So this poison jump should kill. It should also reveal if it's Kibia Berry or not. That means they're potentially locked into it. If we see in the next turn that they poison jump again, we know it's choice bound. The thing is, baby doll is that so hard. Okay, the ice beam. Now Flygon comes in. Now, I definitely need to switch Excadrill, because I need to reset my move. This is scary. My Lottie, I thought I would kill it here with Thunderbolt, but it's still living. That's scaring me. I think it's going to try to kill my Lottie here. So, sh off. Mm. It, the Porygon 2 could just kill my Lottie. It could just be Flygon targeting Excadrill, and then the Porygon 2 takes out my Lottie. But I think having my Lottie for an extra turn is still good. I believe in Flygon. Come on, Flygon. There's the Sandstorm. I needed that with Excadrill. Okay, that means nothing on their side protected. It's using Earthquake. That's okay. That's anticipated. It's probably recovering with the P2, right? Life Orb, okay. Recover allows me to get so much health again. Nice. Nice! <laughs> 169. No! I hate your sand! <laughs> I hate your sand! It ruins a joke! Man! I hate it here. <laughs> There's... Is there much hope for me? I need to get a high roll on this, uh, wait, I don't, because it's got Life Orb Chip. I think the Life Orb Chip is going to put it in range for Excadrill, is it not? I think if I was just save to Earthquake here again, and I'll Ice Beam, no, I'll Thunderbolt here. Iron Head is doing 86 to 101 percent to no bulk Flygon, so if it's got bulk, there's a chance it lives. It's a very good roll in my favor if it's not bulk, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to recover with this Melodic. I don't know how it's going to come down to the end game with P2. Let's find out. It... Oh, it hangs on on one! Nice! Oh my god! Oh, that was very close. Dang, very close game one. That was way closer than it should have been. They definitely know I'm choice banned from that though. Very close game one, because I think, I mean, I feel, oh, I probably couldn't have beaten the Porygon game one, or uh, in the 1v1, but with flinches and stuff, it's possible. I could have definitely tried to time stall, though. Game one for me! <laughs> Let's go! I'm sorry about the hex, but I'm taking it. <laughs> so I lost game one. But yes, because now that I know that that's the lead that they went with in game one, I can adjust my lead accordingly. I think it may have been scary if they didn't scold me right after I got frozen. Like if P2 stayed frozen. So how helpful- Rotom was very good there though. It's not Trick Room Porygon 2 from what we saw. Um, I In the past, this is the lead that I've used to deal with that lead. Also, I'm happy you made this flag on bulk here. That was such a good decision. Um, then, it's very scary though not having Sandstorm. I don't know if I would rather have Porygon 2 or Gigalith. Gigalith doesn't do much on its own, but making Excadrill faster than Flygon is just really nice. I think I have to bring Rotom because they might make the adjustment to bring uh, their Rotom cut when they see how much of a threat uh, Milotic was in game one. 
Marina didn't actually do a lot. Well, Baby Dwellers was huge. But I'm going to play to Rotomo now. Oh, boy. This is scary. Should have put more thought into it. But let's do this. Okay, hopefully it's the same leak from them. Zoomy, who's Zoomy? Rota oh, they did ad adjust correctly. A very good adjustment from their part. So Klefki my logic. So I like I like my adaptation then. Their adaptations for sure are also very interesting. It might be fake out, but regardless I think I'm gonna light screen protect. Um, it could fake out X or Clef Key, it could just overheat, could foul or uh, heat wave. Regardless, I think this is fine. I want Clef Key to be gone as fast as possible, probably. Yeah, I think this is fine. I need to take out that uh, Rotom. Let's see what they do. It's probably fake out Leaf Storm, right? They protect my Lotic here, interesting. That only gives me free setup this turn, though. And free damage into Clefki. Ooh, it's the fire air resistance berry. Alka? I think this is an A. And what is it, Leaf Storm? Nasty shit, dude. I think that nobody can really resist Thunderbolt plus Heat Wave. So I think it's just free to just attack here. I don't see an issue with that. Let's go for a foul play on that. And then I'm going to switch to Phantom. Actually, at this point, they might go for an electric move. Does Excadrill live under at plus two? Yeah, Excadrill lives. I think I'm fine with this. Oh, it's Heat Wave, though. Fuck, I didn't... Oh, I completely forgot about that. Damn it. Yeah, I'm losing Excadrill here if it's, uh, if it's Leaf Storm. Into Excadrill. They potentially are just giving me Excadrill here. If I crit, I win. Miss? Okay, no. So oh, I need to hope for an electric move here. Please go for Thunderbolt. Okay, I think I clutched it out. I'll play into... Ooh, into Rotom. That's that's the wrong target. Buddy. Oh, I needed... I need Gigalith in the back. Uh, I guess I got a Thunder Wave. This allows... A, oh, this is... this. I've scuffed this. I feel so bad to throw this hard in the... Uh, in the finals. If I connect another Heat Wave, I win. Like, that switch is just so risky. Does Zumi protect here? They've, I've shown Poison Joe. I think they might protect it. I think I have to go for Rock Slide. Oh, they didn't protect me. Shit. Ooh, as long as I get through the paralysis, I'll be fine, but... Maybe they'll target Clefty. They don't target Clefty, do they? Targeting Clefty. They thought Slaza was going to take out Excadrill. Rock Slide. Ah. PTSD to our week one. Where I got flinched to death. No. And paralyzed to death. No. <laughs> Come on, Salazzle. You're so much more than this. No. <laughs> no. I really should have brought Gigala. I really should have brought Gigala. They don't have sand. Wait. They do not. They did not bring Gigala. So that means my Rotom is outspeeding their Excadrill because they're adamant! Oh my god! I'm gonna ally switch here. I feel like they might expect me to ally switch though. I'm gonna do this and then rock slide. No, I think I am gonna ally switch. Oh, ally switch. <laughs> I forgot about ally switch. No! Tank. The tank. Let's go. Oh, that's great. Oh, that went through my screen. Okay, they're back to neutral. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insanity. And as long as I connect with both. I need this to miss. Not that one. I needed it to miss that good drill. Oh, that really sucks. That's so bad. Oh my god! <laughs> to create the dodge and to connect. <laughs> oh 
my god! <laughs> that is so bad. Okay, so throwing. Is it Flygon? Ducky, okay. What did it get? Levitate? That's fine, it doesn't affect anything. Thunderbolt on the Ducky. Or no, that's on Slay, that's right. This is still not over. I need to be very careful here. If we could freeze it, that would be good. My screen is gone. Probably the uh, Rotom coming back in again. Flygon coming in. Alright, well, we'll Ice Beam Flygon and protect here. I think they're gonna Ice Beam Flygon here. They have to, right? I mean, I can't. There's no much. There's not much reason to target P2. Take the free turn of damage. Yeah, they protect the Rotom, obviously. Um, and then Ice Beam the Flygon, hoping that I mess up, but I don't. Cause I'm different. I'm built different. <laughs> um. Well, Ice Beam Flygon is definitely a good play, I think. And then we will Air Slash the Ducky and keep it from, hopefully, maybe flinch it. Rock Slide. Oh, the tank. Don't flinch, please. Either of these guys don't flinch. Ooh, the Rotom gets to live another day. Ooh, Air Slash flinches are a possibility. And I flinched, okay. Oh, <laughs> they made a lot of flinch. That's not the button that should flinch. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if the if the melodic didn't flinch there, oh, uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I still had who wrote out, so it should be fine. Yeah, I don't think I can win from this position. The only thing I can hope for is a double rock slide miss. I think. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Oh, oh. Eh, can't win with just Phantom. Phantom dodged all the moves. Oh wait, we lived. Hang on. All right, I can flinch. I can flinch, Ducky, and then recover. Ooh, ooh, they flinch here. Okay, they recover. Not the play, man. I think. Uh. All right, Ducky needs to flinch, and then I've got a chance. I think. <gasps> I have a chance. Oh boy. Oh, this is actually getting scary. Hang on. Somehow, by some unforeseen power. I have a chance. Except then when the Rotom comes in, it needs to either like miss or just do something terrible. Rick over here. Come on. Ah, I needed to protect here. Uh-oh. Let's see what it's going for. Rock slide again. Miss, maybe? Either miss or don't flinch. That's... Okay. Ducky's gonna go for T-Bolt. Oh, wait. Crit? Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, Ducky recovers. Okay, hang on, hang on. I think it's a 50-50 right now with uh, Ally Switch. Unless it's got Discharge. <gasps> Wait, I have one play. That's like super safe. I think this one's me the game. I have to Ice Beam Zoomy, and I'm not going to Ally Switch because... Um, I've done it in the past, so I think I think they're gonna expect me to ally switch here. Zumi has ally switch. Oh man, that's really crazy. Well, they're gonna air slash into TP2. No, they're gonna air slash into Rotomo. What? Well, if I flinch the P2, then I have a chance. Or if I freeze it. Uh oh. Freeze, freeze, punch, and it made it through. Dang. Um, so, my only hope at winning this, I think, is them to miss a Leaf Storm. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to get some extra leftovers, right? The extra leftovers can only help me. That's so insane. But I think I've won this from here. I don't think they they have to be crazy to nasty plot here. Okay, so they're not going for Leaf Storm. So that means that I think Recover is better, right? Because I can recover, I take one Thunderbolt, recover, and then take the second one, and hopefully that'll put me in a better position. Yeah, I think this is better. I'll take one Thunderbolt, recover, then take the second Thunderbolt. And then I can one-shot. And then I can attack the Porygon 2, and then try to 1v1 the P2. Okay, 
Okay, got the pair. That really sucks. That. Oh, I'm slower now. Yeah. And with the dodge. I am WCSL Serious Six <laughs> Champion. <laughs> That's a good game. Damn. Oh, that really hurts to lose right in the finals. But my opponent played very well. They definitely recognized the correct lead game one. Um, that was the lead I was most worried about. And then the lead that I had prepared for that lead, they switched it up to a different lead that more countered what I was going to do. That was just excellent play by them. That insane amount of luck. Holy shit. I'll take it. I was, I was the underdog. <laughs> I got my revenge story. That's all that matters. Have a nice one. Regardless, I've had a great run in the WCSL Draft League Season 3. Um, I hope you stay tuned because I'm going to probably be competing in Season 4 depending on what we do. Um, and there will probably be some brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl VGC stuff coming up too. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care.